So it's not just about one event. We're really um, stepping back, taking a look at what our organizations, um, where we want our organizations to go, and then building an anniversary uh, planning uh, that will help our organization get there. So anniversaries are a chance to celebrate, your, obviously, your organization's history and your many, many accomplishments. Say hooray about where you are right now and let all your constituencies know where that is and how important that is and how you've grown from the past. And of course, very, very, very importantly, it can't just be about the past. We've had big conversations about this last, last year when we were doing our anniversary. And much as we want to celebrate where we've come from, it has to be an opportunity to share our vision for the future with everybody that we care about because we want them to come with us. So that's, that's really key. Um, I love that Stephen Covey phrase, begin with the end in mind. I don't know if you're aware of that. It's one of the seven habits of highly effective people, I think. Begin with the end in mind. So if you stop yourself for a moment as an organization and say, where do we want to be at the end of our anniversary period? And you notice I don't say necessarily anniversary year. It could be 12 months, it could be 18 months, it could be even two years. It could even, if you're doing a really major campaign, it might even be longer than that. So during that period, where is it we want to go? We want to step back and really look at the vision. We want to do some visioning. That sounds like strategic planning. It's a little strategic planning. Um, on all sorts of different scales. If your organization is planning a strategic plan, in, you know, a formal one, right before an anniversary is a great time to do that. Because then you can use the anniversary period to actualize all that wonderful learning that you did. Um, it's not absolutely necessary. But what is necessary to gather your team together, and we're going to talk about who that team is, gather your folks together and really think about where are we going? Where do we want to be in two or three years? And what do we need to do in order to get there? What kind of programs do we need? Is our mission in the right place? Has it shifted a little bit? Is this an opportunity to really refocus? Do we need more staff? Do we need to build up certain programs? Do we need more volunteers? Do we need to build our board? And if so, how? So everything starts with that, that turning that vision into our objective. Promotion and marketing. Here's the question I like to ask around promotion and marketing. Who do we want to reach with what questions so that they will do what? That's the thing that very often gets missed. Every one of our clients tells us we want to get an article in the New York Times. You know, and we do too, so I totally understand that. But who, why? Who do we want to reach in order to create the right message, right? and get the right paper to pick it up and the right people to see it. We have to know who it is we're trying to reach and what we want those people to do when they read the article in the New York Times. Are we targeting people on the Upper East Side because they're the ones who um, understand our program in East Harlem and the environmental impact up there and they're the people that we need because we need donors, we need board members, we need advisors? Or do we need the people in the community who only think we do one thing but we actually do 10? to hear that message of all the wonderful things that we do so they'll sign up for our programs. So when we design the activities to make these objectives happen, to reach our objectives, we're designing them with that in mind. We want to build, we don't build anniversaries around events. We build events and activities that are going to meet our anniversary objectives. And very carefully, just as she suggested, we are going to weigh them. What I like to do is, is pull together this, this uh, anniversary objective statement with my team, first with the inner circle, and then you may, we're going to talk about them more later, you know, invite some additional folks from the uh, second or third tier out around the table. And that really brings <coughs> what sorts of events and activities and you getting communications and newsletters and emails and online and um, house party and barbecue and ribbon cuttings and all the things that might be possible might meet these objectives. And then, which ones are the best ones? And the budget, and how much it's going to cost you, and how much time it's going to take, and whether or not you have buy-in.